Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Time is ticking away for humanity. Our world is becoming more and more like a sci-fi movie with each passing day, and our own destructive behaviors are gradually turning our society into a real-life nightmare. If given sufficient time, we would bring about our own downfall and wreak havoc on everything in our vicinity. At least, that's the impression that the mainstream news is trying to convey. At its core, most people can sense that global events are spiraling out of control. Malevolence is on the rise, and nearly all the attempts made by our leaders to tackle our rapidly evolving issues seem to be making things worse instead. The speed of change is only accelerating, and there's a growing concern that this could soon plunge the world into utter chaos. Here are seven indications that we are indeed living in times that seem apocalyptic. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Leaders from around the world appear to be catching the war fever, and the Biden administration has upped the ante by approving a $345 million weapons package for Taiwan, which only increases the likelihood of a military clash with China. The Biden regime is sending $345 million in weapons to Taiwan as they look to create another proxy war against China, similar to the proxy war they have set up in Ukraine with Russia. The US made the announcement on Saturday. In response to the news, China has made it clear they will not be backing down. The drama in Ukraine keeps escalating on both sides, and the Russians are now openly suggesting the potential use of nuclear weapons. The Kremlin today bluntly threatened use of nuclear weapons in the wake of the Ukrainian drone strike on Moscow's skyscraper zone. Three drones struck an elite office building and residential skyscraper in Moscow early Sunday morning, in what Russia's defense ministry has branded an attempted terrorist attack by the Kyiv regime. Dmitry Medvedev, a former Russian president and Putin ally, has warned there is simply no other way out, and said that Kyiv should pray to our warriors that they do not allow the global nuclear fire to flare up. According to the United Nations, a staggering 2.4 billion people are currently struggling with inadequate access to food. The breakdown of the Black Sea grain deal and India's strict restrictions on rice exports have raised concerns about a significant surge in global food prices. Ellen Dickinson, chief executive of the British Retail Consortium, or BRC, said, the price of bread and breakfast cereals were most likely to increase, given Ukraine's role as one of the breadmakers of the world. Dry supplies are now also under pressure, after India restricted most exports, which the World Bank warned on Monday, July 31, would cause considerable increases in world prices and induce price volatility. Serious diseases are spreading like wildfire worldwide, with several old illnesses making a startling comeback. In a surprising turn, Florida has turned into a hotspot for a leprosy outbreak in the United States. Health officials say that cases of leprosy, also known as Hansen's disease, are surging in central Florida. In a research letter, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said that Central Florida has accounted for 81% of reported cases in the state and almost one-fifth of reported cases nationwide. The 
the world's weather patterns have gone completely haywire. For instance, Phoenix recently experienced an unprecedented streak of 31 consecutive days, with temperatures hitting 110 degrees or higher. Phoenix sizzled through its 31st consecutive day of at least 110 degrees Fahrenheit, and other parts of the country grappled Sunday with record temperatures after a week that saw significant portions of the U.S. population subject to extreme heat. Someone who pretends to be a man, are getting pregnant and giving birth to babies. A 22-year-old transgender man has given birth to twins, after going through six rounds of artificial insemination, in a bid to get pregnant. Auden Dar, a Starbucks barista from Charleston, West Virginia, was born biologically female, but came out as transgender at 16 years old, after identifying as a lesbian for several years, and started a course of testosterone. However, he soon came to realize that it was his dream to have a biological child, so he put a stop to his hormonal treatment and visited his local family planning clinic in order to begin the process of having a baby. The number of deaths due to heart attacks has been skyrocketing across all age groups in the United States. NBC's The Today Show reported, a national study from Cedars Sinai Hospital shows the deaths related to heart attacks increased across every age group since the spring of 2020, but the group that saw the biggest increase isn't who you might think. The relative increase in heart attack associated deaths among 25 to 44 year olds was a staggering 30%. Experts are still working to figure out why young people are so impacted. We really are living in apocalyptic times, and the months and years ahead of us promise to be very interesting indeed. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.